we are, we are here. Here we are. Hi, folks. Hi. I'm at an angle because there's a wire that's not very long. It's nice to see you. I mean, me. Here's a, I, here's a picture that, even though it didn't come out right, I had to bring. It's of an album. This is what my album looks like, essentially. It, uh, it looks like a punch in the face uh, and my album kind of combined. Uh, that's because the, uh, the ink was running out on my printer. But this is the album that I am uh, eternally trying to sell. Well, not eternally. I mean, eventually I'll sell one. No, I have... Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that this is the show. This is the album. It's cdbaby.com. I don't know if I brought that particular piece of paper with me this time. Look at this chair. Isn't this chair incredible? I can't believe this chair. This is a beautiful chair. And I brought it. And it's hydraulic. Um, I'll play a tune. I'll play a song. Man, that doesn't even fit on this chair. I'm trying something new. A chair. Well, I don't mean this chair. I've sat in this chair. But um, what I mean is I have all my stuff sitting on a chair. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to sing through the singing microphone. The singing microphone. This is a song from Lil McClintock. Lil is a guy, a man. I can only assume that there was a, a big McClintock, and so he became Lil McClintock. I don't know what else would explain. Except my old man, Linda, 
sugar cane Linda, Linda Say you'll be mine While the moon am a shining And in my heart am a pining Meet me, little Linda There you go. That record is called Please Don't Think That I'm Santa Claus. And uh, it's from the 20s. But it's actually from three other songs from about 1906 and 1907. And it's from three other songs. It's nice how he put them together, though. I must play you Johnson City Blues from Clarence Green. Let's see, where am I? Clarence Green was basically a fiddle player, but he learned how to play this style from Blind Lemon Jefferson, who used to go through Johnson City, Tennessee. Johnson City was a hub at least once a year, when this recording guy would come to town and do everybody's recordings and try and sell their records and, and pay them a little money, I guess. And uh, Johnson City, there's a, an album of various Johnson City stuff all recorded at the same time, at the same day. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Well probably Johnson City Sessions or something, but I found this elsewhere. I found this on a Columbia collection. Okay, Clarence Green with an E on the end. And um, Johnson City Blues, which is basically Chattanooga Blues with a couple of new words and some changes. He, uh, that's so I'm told. I haven't heard Chattanooga Blues, Johnson City Blues, Clarence Green, 1928. I think he recorded it on my birthday. Recorded about 16 songs altogether. Okay. Oh, 
daddy. Sweet daddy. I set guitar nah. down. I set guitar down for a minute. Okay, I revert to thinking in terms of a lapel mic. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, how do you like my Rasta Circus shirt? Chase the camera. It's great to look at the monitor and to figure out which camera you're actually in. It's great to look at a shot of the side of your head it's like seeing yourself in a crowd talking to somebody else. And you walk up to yourself and you're already talking to somebody else. It's great. Uh, underdog, underdog. Not one of my favorite characters, but I do have underdog glasses. Oh boy. Um, Leaving home. What did I play first? Oh, Linda. Oh, man. I have two shows to do today. I'm doing a double header. This is great. Yes, I'm doing a double header. And uh, that's why when you tune in next week, you'll see me wearing the same shirt. He wore the same shirt twice. You're going to find there's a tendency to, for me to wear the same shirt two shows in a row. With this shirt, it's probably easier to notice than with some of my other shirts. This is sort of party shirt, kind of stagey type of shirt. I, um, this shirt is an excellent reason why, if you live in Burlington, Vermont, as I used to, and I live close to it now, and I'm close to living there now, um, if you live there, you should honor May 31st because kids leave in June, and that's when the leases are up, and all this stuff is, they get rid of an incredible amount of stuff when they leave, and uh, I got this shirt for nothing. And it's worth every penny I paid. Um, no, it's, it's great. Uh, I've gotten some real interesting things. I used to live down there right on Loomis Street, so I had a good chance. But now uh, I, I have too much stuff. There's a certain point in your life when you realize that stuff is easy to get and space is hard to get. 